let's talk about posture during pregnancy and why it matters. We're gonna talk about it in the seated position, in the sleeping position when we're laying down, and in the standing position. I'm Dr. Nichelle Gerlay, and I'm specializing in prenatal and postnatal movement. Now, why does posture matter? Well, it matters so that we decrease discomforts in our neck, our mid-back, our low back, our pelvis during pregnancy. But even more than all of that, it really, really matters to help with baby positioning. So to help with baby positioning as a chiropractor, first off, I'm doing a lot of body work to help balance the pelvis, but you yourself can help with that balance as well by what you're doing throughout the day. Because if you're working eight hours at a desk and you're sleeping, maybe not in a row, but eight hours in a certain position, or you're holding a child in a certain position, it's all of that stuff that adds up that could impact baby's position. And we want that optimal position to not only feel better throughout pregnancy, um, transverse babies and breech babies often don't feel as good when we're carrying them, but also because we wanna have a smoother labor and delivery and baby being in an optimal position helps with that. So let's start with being in a seated position. So commonly, most people find themselves slouched in the car, they're in a bucket seat in the car, or at work they find themselves trying to have good posture and then they slouch. I want you to look at the space right now between my pelvis and my rib cage. That's not a ton for baby. In fact, I always feel my babies move a ton and I get uncomfortable when I am slouching. Versus now, look, when I come to the edge of my seat and I sit upright, I have a lot more space between my pelvis and my rib cage. It's very easy to see the difference between here, how much space I'm giving baby versus here. Now also what we need to think about is that when we sit in this tucked position, we're sitting on our sacrum, we're sitting on our tailbone and locking that pelvis down. When we want that pelvis and all the structures attached to it, including the uterus, the uterus is attached to the pelvis, we are locking that down and just reducing the amount of movement. And we want that movement so that baby can shift and get into the proper position. So there's a lot of different ways you can focus on it, but I encourage you to get to the edge of your seat, do a wide stance, so maybe no more skirts if you're a skirt wearer, and try to think about, as opposed to thinking like shoulders back and all this, just think, how can I widen the space between my pelvis and my rib cage? Do I need to put back support behind me? Should I get a ball to work on instead? In the car, no matter how nice your car is and how much it has a pump of a lumbar support, most still bucket seat us. So you might need to find a support. I love the back vitalizer. That's something that I sell in my office because it's so helpful for in the car to create better posture. So if you're in the car more than 15 minutes a day, you need some sort of support. You can add a pillow, you can grab your jacket and stuff it up, but the idea is that you don't want to be here, you want to be here. So that's the main idea with sitting. With standing, we also want to think about, are we holding a child on one hip? What is that doing to the tension on one side versus the other? So while it's hard, we want to hold our toddler neutral whenever we can. And that also includes not this or this. Trying to think I'm standing tall and I'm holding here. I'm not dipping. If you don't have a child, but say you have a bag, think about what that bag's doing to you. Or when you're standing and talking to a neighbor after work, are you sitting into one hip? Really focus on being centered as much as you can. You do not have to be perfect all the time. You might find yourself slouching at work or dang it, I held my kiddo like this for a little bit. That's okay. It's not that you've undone everything. We want more times than not that you start getting into more of a neutral pattern. The other position and thing that I find that people forget about is how are you sleeping? So I'm not going to get all the pillows out and everything, and everyone sleeps with different variations of pillows anyways, but I want you to think about when you're on your side at night, because most people sleep on their side, is are you really tucked up? Are you a sleeper that's tucked up like this? Because think about between my pelvis and my rib cage, I'm not giving much space. So I want you to think about opening up that line between your legs and your belly so your hips are more open than tucked, which might be hard to do. A lot of people like to add a pillow here, or I really like people to hold a big pillow because that helps with their chest as well, not collapse. A lot of people get rib pain during pregnancy. So hold a pillow, perhaps put it between your knees and open up. You don't have to be back here, but not tucked up so much because we're thinking about the time spent throughout the day where we're decreasing that space in the abs and that belly area, we wanna keep it nice and open. We also wanna keep that pelvis nice and open. So there's other things that we can do with movement to help, but what you're doing in your posture with how you're holding your children, how you're holding your bag, how you're seated at work or in the car, 
how you're sleeping all add up. So if we can start fixing each one of those areas, we help to make sure that we are able to have a body that's a little bit more balanced, not as tight. We're hoping to help make sure that baby can get into an optimal position so that you can have more optimal labor and birth.